Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, friends of fine art friends. I'm Dieter, Dieter Manshura, and I'm the owner of a little family company located in southern Germany. And we've sold art prints, mainly Japanese art prints, in weekly online auctions since 2001. Uh, I want to begin this video with a question for you. Do you like beautiful landscape prints, maybe with a Japanese touch? If yes, then I have a wonderful new artist for you. Alexandra Buckle from the United Kingdom. And you see her there in the background at work. Question, shall I begin by showing her art prints? Or shall I first uh, talk a little bit about her biography, who she is? Okay, let's start with her biography. Alexander Buckel has a BA, a Bachelor of Arts in Design and Crafts from Staffordshire University. A BA, uh, open brackets, Hans, close brackets. I guess this Hans stands for something like honor. So, um, Bachelor of Arts with a lot of honor from Staffordshire University. Alexander is a member of different societies. Um, Buckinghamshire Craft Guild, Oxfordshire Art Weeks, Buckingham Art for All. And she's a regular contributor to uh, a bunch of art shows, um, galleries, exhibitions. I want to mention only a few. Um, a rather plush gallery in London, that's Bankside Gallery. I had a look at their website. That's from the finest, my good. Um, then uh, a, an important art fair in the UK. That is Woolwich Contemporary Print Fair then Oxford Art Society, Royal Academy, uh, summer exhibitions. Well, I myself have to get used to these uh, UK-specific uh, organizations and, and, and art and, and print fairs. Uh, I've actually, um, I'm, I'm surprised. The UK printmakers, um, so what, what I can see from, from the website, they are apparently very well organized, by the way. Okay, but now I show her the wonderful art prints by Alexandra Buckle. Let's begin with the first one. Alexandra works in linocut technique, but when you look at that, you can hardly see a difference from wood blocks because she works on a very, very high technical level, by the way, she also teaches art uh, to classes from beginners uh, to experts. Well, this first one, these are woodland lilies. Uh, Alexandra, she likes nature, of course. You will recognize that from her prints. And um, she lives in the countryside, just like me, and she likes long walks with her dog. And this is called Snowy Riverbank, uh, a view from winter. I want to show you 10 prints, so I have to make a, a fast walk through. And now we come to some views, Japanese views. Um, Alexander makes both. Yeah, she likes Japan, she likes the Japanese culture and she makes views from the UK, especially the woodlands, uh, the UK uh, landscape, as well as from Japan. For this first consignment, um, I, I selected mostly Japanese views because this is what you, my clients, are used to. So I thought, yeah, that could accommodate you. Uh, this one is called uh, Lantern Glow. Beautiful, lovely. And it's linocut technique. By the way, not only linocut, it's 
reduction liner cut technique. And this is a view from the Silver Pavilion in Kyoto. The next one also from Kyoto. Well, this famous tourist site uh, with these uh, red gates um, in, a, in a long, long row. What do we have next? Uh, a stone garden, also uh, close to Silver Pavilion, all in the Kyoto area. And then uh, came two views of the so-called Golden Pavilion, also from the Kyoto area. Look at that, beautiful. And now keep it in mind, and the next one is a different view, but also the Golden Pavilion in Kyoto. The next, the last two ones are again wonderful landscape views from the UK woodlands. Uh, this is an autumn view. And let's take what we have. Oh, again, uh, a view from Japan, the famous gate uh, at Miyajima in Japan. Okay, uh, these are the 10 prints we got from Alexandra uh, Buckle as a first consignment. And uh, I told you, Alexandra, she likes nature. And uh, nature, this is a constant inspiration for her. And she, uh, she's fascinated by studying the effects of light and color. And she tries to, let's say, to show that with her prints using the linocut uh, technique. And she has a very, very high level reached. She teaches experts in linocut who want to learn a little bit more. Um, it's not only lino cuts, uh, she uses it in the technique of reduction uh, lino cuts. And that is a process where uh, you must make a careful planning. It's nearly like the work of a programmer. You must make a design. Um, it's an, yeah, it's an intellectual uh, uh, approach. And during this process where you uh, make one layer after the other, uh, remove more and more parts from a wooden block, and at the end, the block is practically destroyed. Uh, that means you cannot pull more prints uh, beyond the original planned edition. And for a collector, it's wonderful, because he cannot be sure that artists do that. Yeah, they do it rather often. Okay, when they can sell uh, an edition well and they are sold out, well, they add a few uh, APs, so-called artist proof. With the reduction technique, no matter whether it's the lino cut reduction technique or the woodblock reduction technique, this is not possible. Okay, we will offer these wonderful prints by Alexandra Buckle in the coming auction and in following auctions. Um, the next coming auction will start tomorrow, Sunday, November 21st, uh, and we are in the year 2021. And please give Alexander a wonderful receipt. By wonderful receipt, I don't mean any likes or anything like that, but bid on her prints and buy them because only then we will get more consignments by Alexander for our future auctions. And she's wonderful. She's an excellent landscape printmaker from the United Kingdom. Okay, got my message. Wonderful. Then take a look at the auction catalog and bid on these beautiful landscape prints and take care of yourself and have a good week and thanks for watching and I hope to see you for our next video. Goodbye my friends.